so here we are on the other side of the metal shed and we've moved Midnight's home and because I was really worried about how secure he felt and how safe he felt and it really bothered me that when I came out this morning to feed him he just ran so I didn't like that and knowing the wind patterns in our backyard I wanted to set him up something where he was safe secure out of the wind out of the rain until he felt comfortable enough that you know I could lay hands on him and get him rehomed well this is what we've got we have the igloo which is nice and warm and toasty on the inside and I don't know if you can see it or not in there I'll have to take a picture of it because he's he's made a little nest in there but there's his igloo you can see it's up on the pallet to keep the rain and everything out of it and to keep the wind and the rain out of it we've still got the tarp over it we're securing the tarp now and there's leaves all around so he can hear if anything comes up and these leaves pretty much stay here all year round because well y'all have seen pictures of our yard we've got trees and trees and more trees and well more trees but we're going to as dad just said we're going to find a way to elevate it here in the middle to make sure that the rain runs off and it's not collecting rain and mosquitoes and all of that dad has secured it to the back so the tarp is not going to run away there it is on this side so he's got a pretty good little setup here it'll keep him nice and warm in the winter time and the wind actually comes from that direction you can see how many trees we've got and this is my office here that's my office patio there's his feeding station and here's the metal shed it was on the other side of the metal shed and it looks like dad has placed a bucket on top of Midnight's home to elevate it, elevate the tarp so it doesn't collect rain. So he will be able to hear if anything comes along and he will be able to escape out of his house and go several different directions. He'll be able to go around the metal shed in two different directions. He'll be able to go out the other side of the house. He'll be able to go around my office. He'll be either direction. So I think this is a pretty safe, secure spot for him. And it's it's out of the wind. And the rain and, and all of that. Because as you can see, above it, we have, oh yeah, more trees because, well, not only is mom a cat lover, she's a tree hugger too. Heaven forbid. Tree hugger, cat lover, just all kinds of horrible things here. <laughs> but you can see, you know, he's not far from the front door, and just like three or four steps that it took for me to get there. And there's his feeding station. So he can still hear me come out. And he can come from that direction. Or he can come from that direction. Either way. So I think our boy will be okay. And I don't think I will scare him anymore. You can see where he kicked out the cedar when he was scared and I didn't like that I don't like scaring him 
scaring him is not going to earn his trust. It's not going to get him a home where it's safe and warm. But he didn't eat all of his breakfast. And Leo didn't come eat it either. But I wonder if Leo's hibernating now because it was 48 degrees here last night. So maybe Leo's hibernating. I don't know. If anybody knows if anything about turtles, hey, hit me up because I don't know anything about Leo. Thanks.